Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and I'm doing a little set of videos that show you how to work with terrestrial laser scanning data in Trimble Realworks. I've traditionally been a like a Cyclone user, started using Trimble Realworks about two years ago, and I'm really impressed with the program. I think it's a way better value than what you get with like a Cyclone for the price. And uh, there's some features of it that are just a lot easier to work with. So this is a project we did out in the South Bay. Uh, we're scanning a ex part of an existing structure and a, and a big chunk of a parking lot um, to design some site improvements here. So you can see the building sits in here. And then the main driveway uh, runs out here to this cul-de-sac at the end of the public street. So we got to design a new sidewalk and, and some new driveway access here to the building. And we, the reason we scan this is it's in an urban setting and we got to make sure that all our new hardscape is ADA compliant. So these existing grades, it's really important that those be, be accurate. And so that's one of the reasons we scan the site. <clears throat> So you can see over here on the left, I've already gone in and I've started adding um, my 3D brake lines, my poly lines for some curbing and some concrete and some other things. And what I want to do now is I want to go in and start. I saved the most complicated part of the site for last. So I've got this area here. It's actually kind of runs in here. That's a little bit complicated. We've got some trees there and some sidewalk and some concrete building features. You can see. And so what I want to do is just show you guys how you can use a limit box to make a feature extraction a little simpler in these areas. And maybe show you a trick or two on how to get the building faces out. Okay, so if you've never used RealWorks before, this isn't an intro to RealWorks video, but you pan by holding down the mouse wheel and you orbit with holding down the uh, left click button okay and you can zoom in and out by scrolling on the mouse now what I want to do over here on my view my view tab of the ribbon is I'm gonna hit this button here called limit box mode and that's gonna allow me to create a, a limit box I'm just gonna click a spot here and you can see what that does is it basically crops your view your scan to the limits of your box and that really makes it easier to work with a more complicated site and you're gonna see the the limit box here are way easier than the ones in Cyclone way easier to work with so when I want to adjust that limit box I just grab these 3d arrows and you can see I can start pulling that out now what I want to do is I don't want any of that trees so I'm gonna have a fairly low limit box here I'm just trying to create a, a pretty narrow slice that's just a foot or two, a couple feet off the existing ground. So we're just going to grow this limit box so that I can come in here and start pulling out some of these features. And I may even drop this down a little bit for now. So I know I want to come in. I need to get this concrete retaining wall here. I've got the edge of the sidewalk here. I've got this ramp with the railing. I want to be able to grab all that. I've got some steps here I'm going to want to get. All right, I don't want to get much bigger than this, I don't think. I'm going to pull this out. Oop. Pull this out a little more. Just want to bring that as low as I can. I may end up raising that up a little bit when I get over here to deal with some of the ramp. But for now, I feel like I can go in and I can start cropping out some of the... Um, 
are extracting out some of the features now. Now you can see I didn't get as much scan data as I wanted behind the cars. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but we're going to do the best we can. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go in and, and create some, create a couple uh, brake lines to define my edge of sidewalk. And it's hard to tell in the scans here, but there actually is no, there's no curb here. So this is flush with the pavement. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, let me rephrase that. When it's time to actually go in, now that we've set our limit box, go in and extract, we're going to come over here to the drawing tab, and we're going to hit this button in here on the ribbon called polyline drawing. Okay, and it's going to open up a little toolbox. I don't know where my toolbox went, so give me a minute. Let me find my toolbox. I don't know where my toolbox went. <laughs> Or my toolbar went, I'll have to figure out <laughs> if I got it. I don't see it docked over here. I don't know where it went. Anyways, we can get to everything we need to from the right-click menu. So when the tool activates, you can see my cursor changes now. I've got a pin with a polyline symbol. And so what we're going to do, we're going to just click on a point. Now, one thing about RealWorks, if you try and click where there's no points, it, it's going to beep at you. And tell you there's nothing there so you actually do need to get fairly close to a, a, a point in the cloud now when that tool is active you can zoom zoom in and out and pan and 3d rotate with the same buttons which is kind of cool now what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna click again to create this polyline along this uh, edge of pavement, edge of sidewalk. Sometimes you gotta zoom in and out or rotate a little bit to make sure you're getting the right feature. Okay. And then when you're done, you can just double click that. Now you right click and you say create. That adds an object down here. You can see it added a polyline object to the bottom of the list view. What I'm going to do is just come over here on the name and I'm going to create, rename my uh, object. So I, I name these just like, sort of like you would if you were doing a feature code on a point. And I think that's my first edge of walk. So I'm just numbering those sequentially. And then I just like to sort these by name. Okay, so you can see that's my first edge of walk line. All right, so we got the edge of walk. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I want to come in. I know I got some curbing and uh, not some curbing, but some edge of concrete. Looks like we kind of go around this planter box here. We'll pull up some pictures in a minute. But I know I've got a, there's an edge of concrete line here. It looks like with a planter in it. Now you can create arcs with this tool, but I don't typically do that. I'll do my arcs in CAD because I just want these to be good 3D brake lines. So I just approximate those curves. And you can see over here, I've added a bottom of curb line already. So we'll, we'll try and hover over, get fairly close to that. Okay, and let's see, we'll call that one. Uh, edge of walk too. You could call those edge of concrete too if you wanted. All right, now. I generally what I try and do is, is start with the easiest brake lines first and then work into the smaller brake lines or the brake lines that are a little harder to see. So I'm going to do, uh, it looks like I've got another edge of concrete here. So we're going to do that.
looks like our ramp code moves in here. So we're going to run our edge of concrete line over to here. All right. Then, then we're just, I'm going to just end it. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead. We'll go up the ramp here as far as we can see it. I'm going to go ahead and stop that line right there. And we'll rename that. Now, I don't want to make you guys sit through all this, so I'm going to just do one more here. I'm going to do an edge of walk right here along the bottom of this retaining wall. And I'll, I'll run another break line on the top of that retaining wall. And I'm just going to come along here to the, along the bottom of the first step of the stairs here. Sometimes when you click to it won't grab, so you got to be careful and just keep an eye on that. Okay, and I'm also going to call that edge of walk. All right, so what I want to show you now, we're just going to adjust this limit box and I'm going to I'll pull out the some of the building footprint. So I want to show you guys how to do that and then uh Then we'll end the video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just narrow this limit box. I'm actually going to pull it above the existing ground surface. So you can see I just did that. And what you want to do is you want to get set that to where you're just getting the main wall of the building, which I think I have now. And then I'm going to go over to my view. And most of the time when you're working in this, you're working in perspective. But when I do buildings, I like to do parallel. That's kind of orthographic. And then hit the top view. So now, now you're really getting an ortho view. And that's what I like to use to uh, pull out the buildings. So now I can come in here and I got nice clean lines on the walls. Yeah. It's not, there we go. Nope. It's having a little bit of trouble. <laughs> All right, so we'll come down here and grab this corner. And I'm not going super crazy here. We're just trying to get the main drip line of the building. Okay, and then if the client wants, we can go in and get some other faces of the building if they need that. So I'm going to end that there and then pull this limit box out a little bit. So obviously I'll need to clean up some of this line work will need to get cleaned up in AutoCAD. Now this is a little tricky here. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's a some kind of doorway or something right there because I've got a gap in the building. So I'm going to create that. And in the line. And then uh, let's spin this up and see if we can figure out what's going on here. So we, it, it's almost like we got two separate walls. So I'm going to run this limit box up a little bigger, see if we can figure out what's going on. Yeah. It's hard to tell there. I'm gonna, I'll have to look at some pictures there and see if I can tell what's going on. But I know I've got another wall here I need to do. So let's go back to the top. And we'll just go ahead and draw this in. And then we'll look at some pictures so we can figure out what this, what exactly this is. Okay, now I'm just going to come down here and rename these. Uh, face of building. All right, so I got my building faces, and I pulled some of the other edge of concrete lines out. So I'm not going to 
make you watch, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in. I'm going to adjust this limit box and I'll chop out most of the trees there. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and start pulling out. Uh, I'm going to get the top of the ramp. I'll go in and trace out these steps. I'll get the edges of this uh, other planter here. And uh, I'm going to work, work on just some of the detailed line work in here. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to uh, do another video when it's time to come in and, and pull some point data out of here, some spot elevations and other point data.